Hi and welcome to the tutorial of fish tank part one. I've made a, a material with um, a color channel and an image of the side of a fish and uh, it has a white background so we can make uh, an alpha channel later on in Photoshop. It's real easy. First of all I'll switch off the anti-aliasing so it's nice and crisp and I'm gonna pull up this image in the side view. Now it's important to have the nose of the fish basically on the right hand side because the fishes are going to swim that way so along the Z axis. Um, first of all go to options configure and go to back the tab back and let's pull up this fish here so we got a nice fish it's got watermarks all over it. It doesn't really matter in this case. This is basically our um, our template, and I'm just going to pull it up in one side view, just to make it easier, so that I don't see any fish or anything in the uh, perspective view. So I'm going back to uh, F3, and I'm going to introduce a cylinder. Now the cylinder is oriented the wrong way because it should be Z plus and it's got no subdivisions along the length. I'm going to make that a 5 and it's got way too many subdivisions around the circumference so I'm going to put it down to 12. Then I'm going to switch off the caps because I don't need them. And I'm going to scale this sucker up. And what I need to do is make it large enough so that I get the tip of the tail and the tip of the nose. Now I'm just going to first of all scale it up like this and then just move it over with the E button, get the move tool just like that. That's actually perfect and I can make this editable. Now you see black lines on the light background but the light is uh, 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 pretty intense so I need to go back to the configure and if you don't have this option you have to do uh, a second image in Photoshop and make this sort of like a gray sort of thing so you can see all your geometry lines. This is actually pretty good I'm just making it transparent so that I can actually see and the fish and my geometry. This is the first step. Now what you need to do is um, um, basically a couple of commands. I'm going into edge mode. I'm going to select loop selection. The short key is UL on your keyboard. And uh, I'm just going to select these vertical lines which go all around the fish and I'm just going to scale it. Now uh, because I'm looking exactly at the X axis I'm just going to switch that off because I can't see what I'm doing there and I'm going to do that later on. So I'm just going to scale over the Y and the Z and uh, well, basically you scale it down. You can zoom in and you can move it and I'll just move it over the Y axis. And the most important thing is that these uh, the the uh, end points are basically just on the contour of the fish, not over it. Maybe slightly in it, but not over. So I'm just going to scale it up again, roughly about here. This is good. And I'm going to do all these lines in exactly the same way. So uh, UL on your keyboard, scale it down like so. Zoom in if necessary and just move it up so that it fits right in. If you don't see the contour you just imagine it to be there and we're gonna uh, add some lines here. Now it doesn't really matter when the points are not lined up in a vertical line 
Uh, what you need to do, though, is uh, when you get the selection tool and select points because they need to be someplace else, switch off only select visible elements because then you take the point behind it and you need to do that because otherwise you uh, actually have asymmetry from the left side of the fish and the right side of the fish. So this is legit. You can do this. And for instance, move these up. Now we can also add lines. And you need to do that because here you see a straight line. It's not going to be okay. Here the, 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 the tail actually moves in a little bit with the back fin. So um, you need the loop uh, selection or the loop cut. Now uh, I'm using an older version so I just have the cut. If you have newer versions you do KL and what you need to do is you don't want to uh, cut into the selection because you don't have a selection. You don't want to cut visible only because you want to cut on both sides and you don't want to create endgons because you want to see the polylines. And if you uh, don't make quads, you make end guns, you get polygons with more than four points, and it's not going to work. So here I'm just going to select the loop, and I'm going to cut oh, roughly about here. See, it makes actually uh, a, a sort of an in-between between this line and this, which is fine. And I'm just going to pick up the uh, UL again. I'm going to go back to edge mode and I'm going to scale this down, move it up like this. I actually have to scale it down again, like so. Roughly like this. That's the way you're going to do the whole fish. Hang on. I'm trying to do this as, as exactly as possible. This is this is actually pretty good. Now, um, like I said before, you can uh, select points and uh, just individually pull them up. That's fine, but you have to do the whole fish with the acceptance of the fins at the top and at the bottom. You do the whole fish tail and head. We'll be right back with uh, number two and then I'll have the basic geometry set up and we'll just do the uh, scaling of the x-axis.